Unturned has seen a lot of game-changing updates over the years. Updates that have partially or completely changed the Unturned gameplay experience. Today I'm going to be talking about an update that completely changed the Unturned rating experience, one of the biggest aspects of Unturned. Why the rating update isn't very good, and how specific Unturned content creators caused this bad update to be implemented into the game. Now before the rating update, there were three primary raiding guns in Unturned. Guns that could raid bases, basically. There was the Dragon Fang, the Nykarev, and the Hell's Fury. Now after the rating update, the raiding guns include the Dragon Fang. Like, that's it. Of course, weapons like the Grizzly, Timberwolf, Echo, etc. can still raid bases, but the most efficient ones were the Dragon Fang, Nykarev, and Hell's Fury. Now it's just the Dragon Fang. Now one would wonder, so what happened to the other two guns that no longer raid? Well, the Hell's Fury is still good for PvP, relatively. Uh, the Nykarev... It, it sucks. The, the Nykarev went from one of Unturned's most essential weapons, the Ranger equivalent of the Dragon Fang, to a really shitty PvP weapon. The Nykarev really got cheated in the rating update. Now, was there a reason why the Nykarev got its raiding abilities removed? Probably, but to be honest, I don't see why its raiding abilities were removed. If you ask me, I think what Nelson could have done was just do what he did with the dragon fang where the nykarov would just take high caliber ranger ammunition instead of just making it where the gun is completely worthless and when i mean worthless i mean worthless like nobody uses the nykarov anymore Okay, now the second thing I'm going to be talking about is Unturned Horde Beacons. Unturned Horde Beacons were a really viable strategy for getting loot for raiding. And um, now they're worthless as well. And when I mean worthless, I mean probably more worthless than the Nykarev. Because at least you could still probably kill someone with the Nykarev. But with a Horde Beacon, you could hardly get any loot that you need for raiding anymore. And just to showcase this, I have an extreme example. And this example is coming from one of my live streams where one of my viewers made a Horde Beacon. And we had around 10 to 15 people in our group all in this one area doing this Horde Beacon. And when we finished the Horde Beacon, there was like jack shit for loot. It was completely worthless and a waste of time. And keep in mind, right, that the zombie health multiplier increases f per person that is in the Horde Beacon, right? For every person in the Horde Beacon, the zombies get more health. Like, it's harder to kill them, right? So basically, we would be, like, punching zombies 20 times in the head c to kill them, just the regular ones. The Mega took, like, a thousand rounds to kill or some crazy shit. And when the fucking loot dropped, it was literally jack shit. Like, it wasn't worth the time or effort put in at all. Place it here! Place it! Place the horde! Oh shit, horde beacon! man horde right now <laughs> mega is here is here oh my god play doom 
keep it away from the horde beacon. It's dead. All the loot. Look at the hall. Oh, and it's all gone. <laughs> hey, look at this. Is way better. This is way better. Oh my god, dude. Hey, was that worth it? Was that worth it? No, Wait, the we got two high, high caliber right? boxes and some attachments. The rating update saw the death of casual unturned rating. And what I mean by this is that unturned at this point is far from a survival game and will never really come close to being a proper survival game. What I mean by this is that people come together on YouTube and circle jerk about unturned vanilla and how, oh, we need to bring it back. It was so great. When in reality, it wasn't even very good. And the primary reason unturned is in the position that it is today is because of things like rocket mod, TPA, kits, modded servers, etc. Unturned is a really great casual game, but the rating update kind of ruined the casual style of unturned gameplay, at least for vanilla to semi-vanilla standards. Of course, the rating update was another reason why unturned 5 to 10 to 20 to 100 times loot servers are doing really well right now. Of course, they've always done well, but now they're doing extra well because there's no loot to be had in unturned vanilla at this point. I don't even know where the fuck you get a dragon fang on Russia. I think maybe it could come in an airdrop, or I'm pretty sure you can get it in the dead zone, but that sounds really fucking annoying. I don't understand why the Nykarev had to be nerfed. Like, that's the one that, like, completely doesn't make any sense to me like the horde beacon i can kind of see it being overpowered but even then like it is it went from being overpowered to being underpowered really quickly now you guys are probably wondering how did all of this happen why did this update get implemented and why is it fucking shit well for that we're gonna only have to look in one place and that's youtube.com <laughs> Okay, I know I said we only have to look in one place, but there is actually multiple places and multiple reasons why this update got implemented. Uh, I asked Nelson Sexton myself, I emailed him, and he replied to me. I'll read out the um, emails that were sent. So I messaged Nelson on uh, September 27th, 2021. I said, hey Nelson, I was wondering how the unturned rating update slash nerf came to be. What made you decide to update it? Also, how much influence did unturned content creators have on the rating update and its implementation? Zman1064. And then he responded to me saying, interesting question. Sorry to say that it was a long enough time ago that I don't recall many of the details, but presumably there was feedback from YouTube, Twitter, Steam, Reddit, the forum, etc. I do have a major base building update in mind detailed on the roadmap which has been prompted by feedback from all of those same sources. Now what's interesting is that my friend Charles had a theory that the rating update was caused by unturned content creators and the community. Charles primarily blaming the YouTubers p and JSwag for the rating update. Now this email doesn't necessarily confirm that it was those two particularly that caused this update, but this does confirm Charles' theory that the community had some involvement in this update and why it is horrible. Now, I would explain what Charles said, but he would do it better than I would. So I'm going to cut to a short call I had with Charles where he basically where he basically explains his points and the reasoning. These two, particularly this one, caused one of the worst unturned nerfs of all time. All right, so Charles, so I need you cuz like you're the one that came up with this. This is your your thing. So I want you to tell me how content creators had influence on the unturned rating update. First of all, I just want to say Charles said this before I emailed Nelson and Nelson practically confirmed what Charles was saying. Not explicitly naming anybody, but saying he got feedback from YouTube, the forums, Twitter, probably the major one being YouTube. So Charles, just like, just explain. So 
back in what, what was when was the day I don't, I don't remember the exact day that the update came out but before that um the major youtubers at the time that were focusing on base rating videos which were um the people j swag and p9 uh, which were the two main people who were doing the base rating in unturned at the time and were good friends with each other um both were lobbying in their videos before the rating update that there should be a rating update and how rating was practically super easy which which was something that they both lobbied for around the same time and i believe um after the rating update had occurred that they had a major play in that update ever being coming a thing due to them being you know um so prominent in the scene that they're being affected by which was the rating scene which uh, immediately after the rating update had happened, I believe J Swag went basically MIA, disappeared for a bit, and P9 had not uploaded three, for like three months after the rating update had occurred, which uh, which was really strange to me because they were both people who wanted this update to happen, and both were people who were basically calling saying, "Hey, well, we want changes to the updating system, the rating system, I bet, and we wanted it updated to." be a little bit less uh, OP from what they were saying, which had some merit, but after the update had dropped, um, these two uh, community members who were lobbying left, and a large amount of the player base who really liked the casual version of rating as opposed to other ca um, PvP uh, games that have a rating mechanic within, within it, uh, left the game on the sour toast uh, taste in their mouth because it really just kind of killed an aspect of the game that really was uh, kind of one of the main things in turn, And one of the main things that drew people to the game was that it was more so a casual game. And um, and then, you know, we had things like situation to the point now we're still talking about like the things like the Nykarev, the Nykarev being completely useless now, the Desert Falcon being the only rating, uh, the only item that does not have the uh, rating ability, uh, but still takes high caliber bullets. Meanwhile, every other gun that uses high caliber is able to raid. We're talking about, you know, the Dragon Fang and how specifically Dragon the Dragon Fang is basically one of the most broken guns of the game. Uh, has become basically even more powerful to the point where it's potentially overthrowing the Maple Strike. Maybe not in ability to get, but in damage and uh, and what you're able to do with it. It, the rating update was such a devastating update that ever happened to Unturned, and it's and was influenced heavily by people who really didn't come with a clear. Um, they didn't know what they were talking about. Yeah, they didn't really come up with a clear perspective of what they wanted for the rating update, and made Unturned uh, into a drastic, a drastic different landscape that we see today. Personally, do I believe that there should have been a rating update? Yes, but I don't believe it was in the same capacity that we see today. I think we have an extreme version of what a net rating update would have been. And I think um, the the main people who were uh, lobbyists for this rating update, maybe not specifically what what we have today, were uh, the content creators who were making rating content. Yeah, that's basically what happened.